Well, the Metro Police Department overhauled its sexual misconduct policy amid mounting pressure from city leaders. Pressure. Now, this comes after years of sexual harassment and discrimination allegations rattling the department. Well, one group says that it's received nearly 100 complaints of sexual harassment from Metro Police employees since 2020. But MNPD says it already has a zero tolerance policy. Fox 17 News' Kelly Avellino is looking into the proposed changes, addressing what some say is a chronic issue for Nashville police. Allegations of sexual misconduct within the Metro Nashville Police Department blew up in 2020. One officer sued the city and was awarded $300,000 in damages last year, all city tax dollars. I understand the pain that MMPD clients share because I too was sexually harassed while I was an MNPD officer. The group Silent No Longer Tennessee, led by Greta McLean, says it's received 92 allegations of sexual harassment, mostly from female police employees, over the last four years. McLean says most complaints go unreported, the victims fearing retaliation. They didn't report it because they were afraid that they wouldn't get back up if they needed it. That concerns me because having been an officer, I know what can happen if you need backup and don't have it. Metro Police declined Fox 17 News' interview request. I emailed MMPD multiple times on this issue. MMPD writes the department has not seen, nor do we have any information concerning the 92 claims. After the allegations in 2020, then Mayor John Cooper called for sweeping changes, including MMPD creating a zero tolerance sexual harassment policy. But McLean says victims tell her that policy is not not being followed. And recently speaking with employees, current employees, all of them that I spoke with have said that sexual harassment is still very rampant within the department. So allegedly rampant that Metro's Community Review Board created this extensive sexual misconduct policy for the police chief to consider. It details things like mandatory reporting, including from witnesses, and having an outside team review sexual misconduct complaints. It will change lives. It will change experiences. Metro Council widely passed a resolution last week for MMPD to adopt the new, more specific guidelines. The current policy within MNPD, whatever that is, um, is not being enforced and really has no teeth. But Metro Police say sexual misconduct is already clearly outlined and prohibited in the department's manual, as well as other city policies. A violation can lead to discipline, including termination. Some council members agreed when debating the policy during last week's meeting. We have a policy in place uh, that is uh, already uh, Pretty stringent if you read it. Metro police also say that sexual misconduct isn't unique to any one department, warranting a specific policy for police only. So will Metro Police implement the Community Review Board's proposed policy? Well, Chief John Drake doesn't have to unless potentially directed by the mayor. That said, Metro Council's vote does appear to send a message. Right now, all eyes are on you to do the right thing. Right. So use your good character yes. and implement the policy. Yes. Because what happens after that, if it doesn't happen, is just unpleasant. The mayor's office tells Fox 17 News in a statement that it is exploring whether policies can be strengthened and applied to all city departments, not just police. Metro Police and multiple other city departments are now reviewing the policy. This all comes as MMPD continues to push its 3030 initiative, a goal to have 30% female officers by 2020. I'm Kelly Avellino for Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.